Hello and welcome. This is Today in the News. First, the highlights. 440 citizens killed while 1,789 kidnapped in Kaduna in the last six months. Federal government says security alert issued in October by the U.S. Embassy has terrorized Nigerians and set the nation in panic mode. DSS warns against political thuggery in 2023. Kaduna state government officials say terrorism, banditry and other violent crimes in the state have led to the death of at least 440 citizens while 1,789 others have been kidnapped within the last six months. This was reviewed by the Commissioner for Internal Security and Home Affairs, Samuel Aruan, while presenting the security report for the second and third quarter to the Kaduna State Security Council on Friday. The report reveals that Kaduna Central Senatorial Zone has been the most affected with Chiku, Igabi and Kajuru local councils accounting for 60% of deaths recorded and 70% of kidnappings. And on the success recorded by the security forces, Mr. Aruan revealed that the terrorists who attacked the Nigerian Defense Academy in 2021 have been killed together with at least 168 other notorious bandits within the period under review. He also revealed that security forces in October recovered at least 27 bags of fertilizer after raiding a notorious bandit camp in Kaduna. According to him, the bags of fertilizers were meant to be used by bandits to manufacture improvised explosive devices. Nigeria's Information Minister Lai Mohamed says the security alert issued in October by the United States Embassy in Nigeria has terrorized Nigerians and set the nation in panic mode. The minister who addressed a security gathering in Kaduna on Friday acknowledged America's right to issue an advisory to our citizens but says it must not be to the extent of a scaremongering. He said no responsible government will swallow such report hook, line and sinker considering the fact that it comes from a foreign nation. He strongly stated that the federal government has full confidence in our intelligence and security agency's capacity to gather and promptly act on intelligence in order to manage security threats. He added that no apology will be issued by the federal government despite criticisms and that Nigeria will continue to act to protect her sovereignty. Officials of the Department of State Security in Kaduna State have warned that the nation is likely to be challenged by political thuggery in 2023 if the situation is not properly managed. Abdul Eneche, who reviewed this at a security meeting at the Kaduna Government House on Friday, also called for the sensitization of young people who are mostly used by perpetrators of political unrest. He appealed to the federal and state governments to speed up the completion of critical nations' infrastructure, such as roads and other projects. The Kaduna DSS director reviewed that the agency has identified security threats around the Kaduna International Airport, if not properly addressed, can become worse. He is calling on host communities to contribute their quota by supplying security agencies with the needed intelligence to avert impending attacks. A federal high court sitting in Kaduna has affirmed Uba Sani as the standard bearer of the All Progressives Congress Kaduna State Governorship election in 2023. A governorship aspirant, Sani Shaban, had gone to court seeking nullification of Uba Sani as Kaduna APC governorship candidate for alleged irregularities in the conduct of primary election in May. However, delivering the judgment, the presiding judge, Justice Mohammed Garba Umar, struck out the case for contravention of provision of the National Judicial Council policy direction. The court, according to the ruling, declined in hearing the suit, saying it has no jurisdiction to deliver judgment on the said matter. It added that it's a party affair and not a post or pre-election matter.